In this video, we're going to learn how to replace HTML reserved characters. HTML comes with many reserved characters. As an example, we've got the less than sign, which we are using for our tags. So if you write a less than sign inside the uh, body tags on the web page, we're not going to see anything showing up. Okay. Another example, if we create a paragraph and write some text in the paragraph, Let's say we want to add more space in the paragraph. So even if we add more space in there, we don't see any effects on our web page. So to overcome that, we're going to need to use HTML entities. So HTML entities are special characters which can we can write in our code and just make these reserved characters appear on the web page. So Let's start with the space uh, example. So the entity we're going to be using here has got a special syntax. So we are going to use the ampersand sign followed by either text or by a number sign followed by a number and then a semicolon at the end. So let's start with the text syntax first. So the uh, syntax for the uh, non-breaking space is going to be NBSB for non-breaking space and then a colon. Okay, and brackets can uh, give you options you can choose from. So now we can see that we've got an extra space in there and if we copy this and paste it multiple times, we can see that we've got as much space as we want. Okay. So the other syntax using numbers rather than text is pretty easy as well. So let's just write some text. And now the syntax for the non-breaking space using text is going to be an ampersand, okay, followed by a number sign and then a number. So the number is going to be 160 and we're going to have a semicolon at the end. Okay, and if you copy paste this multiple times again, you can see that you can have as much space as you want. All right. Okay, now let's move to the less than sign. Okay, so for example, we can write for less than five. Okay, so again, if you write less than just like this, it's not going to work. You won't see anything and you will get an error. Okay, so the way it works, we need to use an HTML entity again. So if you want a reference of all HTML entities, just type HTML entities in Google. And if you go to the w3.org website, you will see a full reference for HTML5 entities. Okay, so the less than sign is just here. Okay, so we've got a few options here. So either we use text or we use an hexadecimal number or we just use a number like, like this. Okay, so let's try the easy one using text so it's an ampersand lt colon i'm going to copy but copy that control c and then control v to paste and you can see the less than sign uh, there okay one uh, final example let's um, look for the copyright symbol okay so let's write for example facebook copyrights so if you go to the reference the copyright is just here. I've got a few options. Okay. So again, you can copy any of these over there. I'm just going to copy the text one. Easiest. I'm going to paste it there. And you can see the copyright symbol there. If you use the other symbol, it gives you the same thing. So actually you can use either small letters or capital letters if you want to. Okay. And the same thing for all the other uh, HTML entities. It won't change anything. 